What's going on, guys? This is Mr. Teej 66 Movie Reviews. I am Mr. Teej 66. Happy Thanksgiving to all my uh, subscribers out there and just everyone in general watching this video. Today, I have decided to do one of the, my favorite Thanksgiving-themed films really ever. 1987's Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, starring John Candy and Steve Martin. The plot... Um, Steve Martin plays Neil Page, an advertising executive who goes home from uh, to Chicago from New York City, and he along the way they have every conceivable transportation disaster you can possibly think of. Um, he and he hooks up sort of with this guy, this shower curtain ring salesman, played by named uh, Del Griffith, played by John Candy, and they're basically just stuck together the entire time, and hilarity ensues. This movie, this movie is absolutely one of my. 10 favorite comedies of all time. It's written and directed by the great John Hughes while he was still making good movies and even just writing good, you know, stuff. His later stuff just sort of bottomed out and he just stopped caring. But here, but here he is at the top of his game. In fact, I would argue and say that this is my favorite uh, John Hughes movie, period, even counting all his teen movies. Um, the chemistry is between John Candy and Steve Martin is the absolute best part of this movie. They just gel like that. I mean, their back and forth, their bickering is just priceless. You know, without two good central performances, this movie would have fallen flat. But this is probably some of the best work either one of them has ever done. John Candy in particular. Um, there's a scene late in the film where... Steve Martin, or actually, I should say early in the film, where Steve Martin just, you know, is so fed up with this guy. This guy has gotten on his nerves the entire time, and he just rips into him, tears him a new asshole. And John Candy's reaction, his little speech, you know, his reaction is just, it's heartbreaking. I mean, I really think John Candy sh should have gotten a Best Supporting Actor nomination, or even a Best Actor nomination. It's that good, because his reaction is just simple, it's direct, it's to the point. It just, it's where we, you know... We start to like this guy, and I really miss that man so much. Even to this day, twenty, almost 25 years after his death, you know, there's still a part of me that really wishes he was still around. And Steve Martin is equally good. Um, He's more the straight man of the film. Um, You know, he has a few, he definitely has some funny lines. There's a scene where, I don't want to give it away too much, or, or a, a car catches on fire, I'll just say that. And Steve Martin's reactions, it, it's just, you have to see it for yourself. It's absolutely priceless, but... He mostly plays it straight, but he does have a few good scenes. There's a great, another great scene where he has to talk to a car rental um, lady. Um, and he, uh, Without giving it too much away, he unleashes a bunch of F-bombs. And because his car isn't there, you know, he's just been through so much shit and he just can't take it anymore. The uh, auto service or the auto rental lady's reaction or to his F-bomb rant is one of the great punchlines of all time. I will not even remotely spoil it. Um, the movie is, you know, pretty well shot. John Hughes had a very distinct style. I love the fact that he he takes his characters just to the edge of being caricatures and yet pulls back and reveals a real heart to it. And this movie is no exception. Um, <clears throat> of course, I have to mention probably the, the most famous scene in the film. It's actually on the DVD cover. Those aren't pillows edition. Ha ha ha. Everyone who's seen the movie will know exactly what I'm talking about. It is... Another one of the great punchlines of all time. I don't. I won't even ruin it because I'm sure everyone who's seen the movie knows exactly what I'm talking about. But overall, this is a comedy classic. I would give it. Uh, as for flaws, I guess some of the music is kind of dated. It feels kind of that has that eighty sort of synthesizer thing to it. It's appropriate, but it is a little dated. Um, I've got a lot of great supporting characters too. Dylan Baker plays this redneck, you know, white trash. I don't know what the hell he's doing. It's just. It, it might go a little far into, like, cartoony territory, but John Hughes did, did that a lot. A lot of his side characters were kind of basically human cartoons, so that's the only other flaw, although his performance is hilarious, but it may it feels maybe a little out of place with uh, John Candy and Steve Martin, but overall, I would give this movie, like, a 9.5. It's really fantastic. I watch it every year. It always makes me laugh, you know, like, not just kind of laugh, like, gut-bustingly funny, um... If you haven't seen it, you should absolutely check it out. You know, it's very 80s, but still, it's a good time. Anyway, planes, trains, and automobiles. Anyway, that's my review this week for Mr. Cage 66, and happy Thanksgiving to all of you, and I will see you next time.